Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's Dex Sundays, we are going to discuss two very important time intelligence functions. Number one, dates y theory, which we are going to use for calculating the running total. In my previous video, I have also discussed about how to calculate the cumulative or running total. And in this video, I'm going to use another Dex function to calculate the same. The second one is the same period last year which we can use to calculate sales amount or number of transactions or any other calculation for the same duration or the same time period for the previous year. For example, if I'm calculating January 2019 sales, so with the help of this function, I can calculate the January 2018 sales as well, which I'm gonna demonstrate during the demo. So what are you waiting for? Let's go to my laptop. First of all, I'm gonna use dates YTD to calculate the running total. In my previous video as well, I have explained how to calculate the running total. But in this video, we are gonna use another DEX function to calculate the running total. For that, we have to go on my sales table. I'm gonna create a new measure. I'm gonna give it a name running total. For that, first I should have my total sales amount. Either you can create already a measure for the total sales amount that I created or you can use the expression over here and in order to evaluate the expression we always use the calculate. So you can see that calculate dex always evaluates an expression in context modified filters. So we use calculate and then another dex function which is sum which is going to give you the sum of the total sales. So I'm going to say sales amount which is my column where I have my total sales amount. Now I'm going to filter it out using dates ytd. So I put dates ytd and it would require one date column. So I'll put my date date. You should also uh, notice over here dates ytd returns a set of date in in the year up to the current date that means generally it has two parameters to give in this one one is the date column and second would be the year end date what you want to give by default the year end date would be the december 31st but if you want to specify something you can do that year end date is a literal string with a date that defines the year end date so maybe if you are using fiscal year or something then maybe it vary but it's optional so whether you want to give it or not and over here we are using uh, we are not using any uh, year end date so by default there would be december 31st so let's close the bracket and hit enter now if i place this measure over here you will notice over there the very first january 18 it's the same but uh, starting from february it's starting calculating the running total if you will sum up the values of jan and feb you will get the feb running total when you will sum up the values of jan feb and march you will get the running total for march 18. i always verify your calculations by calculating manually so that you are not making any mistakes over there before closing this out dates ytd dex function you should remember this function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules so always keep this thing in your mind now let's move on the second function which is our same period last year so i'm gonna create a new measure over here last year sales again i'm going to use calculate dex function in order to evaluate my expression sum to calculate my total sales amount and filter it by same period last year and i'm gonna give it a date column also you should have noticed over here too that same period last year returns a set of dates in the current selection from the previous year so whatever is your current selection based on that same period from the previous year it would calculate it would give you the date values and would calculate the sales corresponding to that now we are going to close it 
hit enter let's bring it over here now notice over here in the month of january 2018 there is a sales of 1327674 so since we are calculating this for the previous years in 2019 if i check sales in 2019 it's 1847691 but over here you would notice that the last year sales it's showing the exactly same which is in the january 18 that means without going in the back year we can calculate the sales for the previous year that's how same period last year works that this function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules now i'm going to show you one more method to calculate the last year sales which is same as this one but we won't use the sample period last year instead of that we are going to use another dex function create a new measure i'll say last year new format or new dex function you can give it a name the way you want calculate again then sum sales amount close the bracket now instead of using same period last year dex function i am going to use date add we can uh, reduce the periods like year day month from the dates so what i'm going to do i'm going to use my date column so i'm going to subtract 1 that means i want to go in the previous year so 2019 minus 1 one would be 2018 so minus 1 now it's going to ask me the third parameter that is the interval which is my year if you want to go for the quarter or for day of a month that also you can use it over here now close this hit enter let's bring it over here and it would ideally going to give me the same values so you can see it's matching exactly the same values I hope you like today's video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Stay tuned for more videos. Till then, bye bye.